Congratulations, Kai. You went top 64 at the European WCQ. Congratulations. <laughs> it's an amazing achievement, to be honest. Um, how was the event for you and uh, what was one of your toughest matchups? Um, overall, um, I really liked the event. It's uh, not uh, the meta that I like, but I met very nice people. Um, even in the uh, later uh, stages, uh, around 11, 12, I met people, they were very friendly, and um, all of them were newer players, just playing for one or two years, or, uh, and already pretty good players. Uh, for me, um, the, the matchup where I had to think a little bit more was against uh, Memento. Uh, a deck I didn't know really good, it was round 10. Uh, but uh, my deck could uh, compete against it in the end, and I won that round. And you did pretty amazing, top 64 EU WCQ. Uh, show us our deck, which deck did you play, and how uh, does your deck profile look like? Hey. So, I played Jubel. Um, at standard, I played three Zamzara di Lotus. Um, next, I played uh, two of the uh, Spirit of Jubel, One Uber and one Terran Carnation. Um, I think a third one is needed uh, with the new fusion monster. It's uh, you have good recycling, and uh, a third one would more br uh, brick than help. Um, we, uh, we played uh, two skirmisher. Uh, one co could be good enough, but we fought. Um, um, we don't win on the spot most of the time when we go first, so we want a little bit uh, the grind game and the uh, follow-up. Um, then we played one Beckoning Beast and one summoning, uh, Chaos Summoning Beast. Um, this one is just uh, so we have from uh, an option to start uh, with the Continue spell, go into the, uh, the Dark Beckoning Beast, and then uh, have one card we can search an Enormous Summon. So this is uh, the spot, and this uh, the one-off is good enough. You can play free, but in the end, uh, we uh, had to, uh, not that much space uh, in the 44 card deck, so we decided to only play one. Then our other one-offs, uh, one uh, Shavara, you play the Unchained combos in this deck. It's pretty insane. Um, also, one Lurry with. Uh, with the free Fiendsmith, I, I don't think you have to say anything about it. Uh, this engine is pr so broken and amazing. You can do so much stuff with that. It's insane. Also, the no, uh, both TCG exclusives, I don't know why they printed it, but it's insane. Uh, next, the hand traps, you played free Ash, free Nibiru, free Raiders for the monsters. It's pretty uh, standard, and it, it, we wanted to have more interactions. And I don't think you can say anything bad about them. Uh, then to the spells, uh, I, we had three Nightman Throne, pretty amazing cards. Every support card for Jubel is pretty insane, and I think it's one of the best. Uh, so you have to play it at three. Um, together with the uh, uh, Spirit Gates, I already told, it's... I think it's even more broken than the throne. Like having a normal summon, uh, uh, search of a normal summon, that's an extra search and an extra normal summon. Having the uh, grave, graveyard recursion, especially some, something from grave. And on top, you can recycle stuff like your uh, Nightmare Pain or second uh, Spirit Gates uh, you have in the hand. Like this card is so good. Um, then we've played another uh, Broadbreakers, uh, three droplets and three talents. Um, we wanted to have cards that uh, are both good, uh, going first and going second. So it, those are the, the best cards you can play currently. Um, I think I ne every time I saw this, I was happy. Like, this card is never bad. Against most uh, matchups, it does any uh, something. And this is only bad if you get an Imperm and nothing else. <laughs> But that's, uh, if you can't play, you can't play. <laughs> Then... Uh, Number one of one terraforming for the uh, field spell, one nightmare pain. Uh, also, pretty insane having the ability 
to uh, win just by attacking your opponent's monsters and doing, doing the damage you get, uh, get to your opponent. Uh, also forcing your opponent uh, to, uh, to attack your Uber monsters and just have la something like SP on the board, the counter-attack. I like, I wanted to play more of this, but in the end we didn't want to play, uh, have the uh, count higher and uh, all, uh, the spirit gates can act well at the spec from the graveyard. And uh, one uh, Tractus for the Fiend Self Engine. Then the last four cards are Free Imperm and uh, the uh, Abomination Chamber. It's just a combo piece. You could play this or the other uh, Unchained Trap. In the end, uh, we had some lines we liked more, so uh, we choose this over the another one. Is there any changes for the main deck uh, for the future? Overall, I would say about everything in my deck, I wouldn't change anything. If I would play this tournament again, I would just play this deck like it is. Uh, I didn't have any complaints. Uh, by the way, it's uh, it's 18 non engine Yeah, 18 non engine yeah. cards with 44 main deck cards in total. Um, next, the extra deck, I think. Uh, it's not standard to play free uh, Phantom of Uber, but um, like we said with the Skirmisher, uh, we wanted the grind game. We wanted to option to just link that away for some place and in the end uh, more, uh, add many games where I needed all three of them. And uh, uh, one of them is in the most of the time a very, very good extender. Yeah, yes, it, it helps. Um, then the one SP, I don't think you have to, everyone plays this card, it's just broken. Uh, then uh, the Mudcracker, we uh, thought about cutting this. Uh, but in the end, it helps you uh, if you ha get hand trapped to extend. Um, but in the end, I uh, uh, won't miss it. Uh, I, w I would miss it if it uh, wasn't here in here. So uh, we had it. Uh, then f the unchains, both uh, pretty insane. Uh, this as interruption my opponent's turn, and get uh, also you, uh, in your turn you can get uh, stuff back from the grave. And uh, Yama. Or like uh, getting into place with the, uh, with the Nava card I will show you soon, uh, the Varudras. Uh, it ha makes such good plays. Yeah, and uh, both of them are very important uh, combo pieces. Uh, yes. When you only start with one engraver or just one start with gates or one beckoning beast, that's yeah. very important to play this uh, both. Yeah. Uh, one thing about this deck overall, uh, we tested very, uh, very much and very hard and it, uh, we found every time not new and new lines. Like we found for every one card combo, one uh, or another line uh, we can play, uh, even through hand traps and stuff like that. It's really, really good. Um, we choose to play one Apollosa. Some of our teammates said we should cut it. Uh, in the end, uh, it's like if you get hand traps and stuff like that, uh, this card can sing uh, singly helps in some matchups to win. And uh, we, like we play the deck, we have very, uh, uh, very often multiple bodies on board uh, we want to get rid of, so Apo is the best card to get uh, for this. And then uh, the one Varutas I already told, I think um, if I wouldn't play the, uh, this card, it uh, would lose me so many matchups. It's an Omni Negate, uh, it negates uh, the activation for one material, then you can, in resolve you can detach another material to uh, pop one card on field. Um, in the, when it attacks and has a material, it can pop a card, and even if it leaves the field, uh, it can uh, by destruction it can pop a card. It's so hard to get rid of, and it's um, so a good card. Um, in the end, there uh, there's my Finsmith engine. Like, I don't think I have to say anything about uh, them. Uh, we played the uh, one uh, Eater. It's pretty, pretty good. Like, sending uh, one uh, Uber monster to the grave to make then the full combo uh, with just one card. Even if you don't start with any Uber cards, uh, with this card you, you end on the full Uber board. Um, like we said, uh, every card we have in the extra deck were, I think, mandatory from our part. So even w if with the uh, Necro Equip, Princess is so broken, uh, I didn't f find any card I wanted to cut over that. Um, yes.
So, so learn effect from La Crima, how many times did it win you the game? Not that often. Like, uh, I played my deck, I was pretty fast. Most of the times when I go first and do my, my board, my opponent has only one or two hand traps and I can still extend through that, uh, they're scooped. So even uh, my, my most favorite card of my side deck didn't really work out for me. Uh, but I want to play it uh, uh, for all costs, and that is uh, the Sisters. I really, really love this card. It uh, has so much options. It uh, sometimes feels uh, even like the old Maxi. Uh, throwing this on your, uh, when you go se second, or even if you go first, uh, throwing this, and your opponent has uh, to try clear your board, and after that, still kill you, Otherwise, you have so much follow-up play, it's insane. Uh, even if my opponent builds up the full board after that, it's most of the time I have so much life points, I even can wait some turns. Uh, sadly, uh, like I said, um, I didn't have that much time play overall, uh, and uh, I, didn't, I only had this in three or four games in my uh, sided in, but I didn't see it at all, uh, the tournament at all. But at other tournaments I played, and also at testing, this card was one of the best cards. Um, with that, the best yields, um, they are good inter uh, interruption against every Finsmith combo, and even uh, against uh, the mirror match or other dark or light decks. They're pretty good. Also, um, Magnus is fine, but, but Druid is the MVP. Uh, having uh, the extra body, that's even if they remove it, uh, sends one card from them to the graveyard and e if they have left it on field it's still an interrupt in, their tr uh, in my turn it's really really good um, then I think I love Maxi so I play free of this um, this card was always going into my side deck against, uh, even if I didn't knew against what I played I played one game against uh, Labyrinth Scenesmith and uh, the scoops and put it in and it was good enough, even against stuff like that. It's in worst case, it's just an upside goblin. In best case, my opponent is too scared to play and uh, just passes back. Um, or I draw eight cards. It don't happen that often, uh, but this card is very, very good. Then uh, we decided to play um, Lightning Storm and Duster. Uh, we really decided on uh, which cards would be in this uh, this place. Uh, we wasn't sure, but um, we decided on Friday we really, really don't want to lose against uh, back row decks and unfair interactions like deck uh, uh, deck blockado, uh, uh, deck lockdown, deck, deck, deck lockdown, or scale drain and stuff like that. So um, this card. Uh, is good, but this is pretty insane with uh, also having the option to destroy uh, the, the monsters like an um, Appaloosa, which also is a threat against the stack. We have very uh, good effects we want to resolve. Um, but yeah, it, it was fine. When I had it, it, uh, it was always pretty good. And in the end, we wanted to have something for every game we go first. We know when we go first, or uh, when we get on the, on the, our engine through, we win. So we played free crossout. Um, I think there are still hand traps you, we missed. We don't have in our list, but most of the time we don't do to des those hand traps. So uh, having this is uh, pretty pretty good. And going first, I played against I uh, like thing five or six snake guys, Finsmiths. Uh, having uh, even if they don't throw any hand trap, I have done something against their Finsmith engine, and um, against the mirror match is also pretty insane. Yeah, and also you can also negate a forbidden droplet, uh, though one copy is uh, remaining in the main deck, um, and to recite also one Perulia uh, for the crosser designator each game. Yes, uh, it's one of the toughest formats in Yu Gi Oh! we played for a long, long time. How much are you looking forward uh, for the ban list? <laughs> so, for me, I was like, uh, I was very sad when Konami announced uh, that the ban list wasn't go uh, going to be effective in this for, uh, for this tournament. Uh, at least I had a deck I wanted to play and uh, I could play it. Um, I really don't want to see any more Snake Eyes. Um, I hope they will do something about it. 
uh, even a small hit is something. Um, but in the end, uh, we will see uh, what Konami thinks and uh, what they bring to us. Final shout outs. Uh, my biggest shout out is to my uh, uh, team uh, Kumpel, <laughs> my teammate Yuyan. Uh, uh, we prayed uh, ev uh, almost every day uh, for the stack and had uh, very interesting uh, conversations about the stack. Also, um, uh, my team in general, they were pretty helpful. And um, also the, the teammates and friends I went to, uh, to ever to this event. Like uh, I met like people I only saw last year or before that. And it uh, was a pretty great event. Thank you very much. Thank you for the deck profile. And congratulations one more time to top 64 at the EU WCQ.